uh, we're gonna make some predictions here today. I think every year before training camp, we've always done a, a video or a podcast uh, about training camp predictions. Some of them bold, some of them not so bold. So I want to hear some some predictions from you guys, and, and I have a couple as well. Mary Kay, let's start with you. Give us your first your first prediction. Scott and I will, will decide if it's bold or, or not bold. We'll, we'll categorize it. Give us your first prediction here. Okay, my first prediction is that the Browns will trade for Yannick Nagakawe. That's bold. <laughs> uh, now, do I really think uh, that this is going to happen? I have no idea if this is going to happen <laughs> or not. <laughs> uh, but uh, I do know that they at least expressed interest in him at one point. Why it didn't happen, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, but they did express some kind of interest in Yannick. And he's still there. In fact, he did not show up. He did not report for camp. He has not signed his franchise tender, which is $17.8 million. Now, nobody can uh, extend him this year. You would just have to pay him that 17.8 and then try to work on a contract later. But uh, I, I would go ahead and do this myself. I think it would be a, a really great move for the Browns. I think it makes up for the fact that they just did not get Jadavian Clowney. And I think he'd be a great compliment to Miles Garrett. I mean, so, you, well, that would make uh, Scott real quick. That would make uh, that would make the Browns' ends very expensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. They yeah, I think expensive with uh, with Clowney too. So yeah. I think they're willing to allocate their resources in that way. Here's my prediction. It's probably not very bold, um, but I'll stick with the theme I, I had last year when I made another not so bold prediction about somebody winning a starting job. <laughs> I'm going to go with right guard. Uh, I think yesterday when we were recording this on Thursday, so Wednesday when Drew Forbes opted out, a lot of people reacted by saying, well, looks like Wyatt Teller is going to be your starting right guard. I say, in the words of Lee Corso, not so fast. I think Nick Harris will be the starter at right guard this year, the rookie that the Browns drafted. I'm not convinced they drafted someone to come in and be their backup center for the next two years. I think Nick Harris is a guy that will end up playing at right guard, a position where he started at in 2017. So he can play guard, even though he's, he's viewed mostly as a center. I think he ends up in that right guard spot. Well, I think on the boldometer, I would give that. <laughs> <laughs> I would give that a good, solid seven. Oh, okay. I think that's, I think that's pretty high up there to, to say that a rookie center will just come in and take that right guard job. So I, I think that's very bold, Dan. I, I commend you for that. Bold-ish. <laughs> and I, you know, I could, I could see that happening. I, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility by any stretch of the imagination, especially now that Drew Forbes, you know, he's not there taking any reps away or challenging. So it's kind of coming down to uh, Wyatt Teller and Nick Harris. Well, I'm going to go with right guard too. Uh, but my bold prediction is that it's not Wyatt Teller and it's not Nick Harris, but it's Chris Hubbard. Okay. I think uh, it's bolder than mine. Yeah. <laughs> He, of course, we all know him as a, as a tackle and things didn't work out, but they wanted him here enough to restructure his contract and, and keep him around. In Pittsburgh, his first few years, he played almost exclusively guard during the preseason, every game. He, was, uh, he had the most snaps at guard of the Steelers during those preseason games, and it didn't really translate over to uh, the regular season. He played more tackle, uh, but he obviously has experience at the NFL level. Again, it's preseason, but... He's done it, um, and I think the fact that they wanted him here kind of at least puts him in the conversation. I wouldn't be shocked if we see Chris Hubbard out there getting reps at guard. He obviously has more NFL experience than the other guys, you know, competing for that position. So I, that's my bold prediction is that Chris Hubbard is your starting right guard after training camp. So if mine was a, if mine was a seven, Mary Kay Scott, I think is a maybe a nine. I I was maybe. thinking eight. Um, yeah, somewhere between eight and nine. It could be like an eight and a half. I mean, that, that's pretty bold for, for Chris Hubbard to go in there and start at, at right guard, the swing tackle of the Cleveland Browns. But uh, you make some good points. You make a good case. Uh, I could see it happening. And uh, that, that job is probably kind of wide open. Mary Kay, do you have a right guard prediction? Is that, is that your next <laughs> bold prediction? Joel Batonio moving to right guard? You know what? That is not my other prediction for training camp. Uh, my prediction is... Uh, that I think that Kevin Stefanski will retain the play calling duties for himself for this season. The reason why I say that is because 
this just didn't go the way anybody thought it was going to go. Alex Van Pelt was supposed to have four tryouts. Uh, he didn't get that opportunity. And the first time that these guys are going to see the offense live and in person working together with the fur really flying will be in Baltimore in the opener on September 13th. So therefore, I think that Kevin Stefanski will want to take maybe some of the heat for the growing pains or, or just kind of have the reins uh, because of the way this season has gone. Well, I'm going to qualify that one as, as not so bold. I think, <laughs> just because I think Stefanski calling plays certainly was always in the